ridiculous makeup trends. Why? Let's try them out. They're viral and they're fun for a reason. They're very ridiculous, but do they work? Do they look good in person? Are they easy to apply? Are they easy to accomplish? Let's try it out with the first one. Extreme contour using lipstick. You're using red lipstick for your blush and then you're using your regular cream contour and concealer to contour your face before you apply your foundation. Let's just go for it. And I chose this lipstick Dior because Emirate got into it. It's a brand new lipstick. <laughs> Did you bite it? And he smashed it. Oh, he smashed it. So you basically start on your cheeks, Dang. like so. That's some, that is some right there. Like high points of your cheeks. It was this, um, what's that movie? Um, what's that movie? Mel Gibson? Yes, Mel Gibson. Braveheart. Braveheart. Looks like I'm in Braveheart. And then you take a brush and you blend this in. Look at that. And you kind of bring it around right in here. Wow. This literally looks like I am going into battle. It's not bad. It's actually blended in really nice. <laughs> I'm trying to take myself very seriously here. Wow, that looks like I got crazy sunburn. I'm gonna try to blend it in together so there's no any, so there's no harsh lines. Okay, I look like a strawberry patch. That looks phenomenal. Then you take your cream contour. I'm just using the Well People, their Bio Bronzer and Natural Tan. I actually really like this one. It's like taking some of that lipstick off. Contour there, contour here, contour here. I'm bridging my nose and the sides. Right here, right here, I think that's good. Then we take our concealer and this is how to lift your face. I'm pretty sure you've seen this hack all over the internet, but it's pretty much you apply it like that, like that, but I'm gonna take a different shade. This is a little too light. I'm gonna take the hourglass and then you lift it like this. Put it in your forehead, down the bridge of your nose. I'm gonna put it right here. And then take a damp sponge and just blend all of this together. I mean, to be honest, I don't think this is gonna look great. <laughs> Looks like I just got a crazy sunburn. I mean, you might look very tan after you're done. Just in this area, by the eyes. I think we're just looking better and better as I add more products onto my face. Next step, you apply foundation, and then we're gonna blend that all together. I, I would say the problem area for me is the hairline with this trend. It's not a good look. Yeah, that's the one thing I'm like, I don't understand how you don't. I look like a tomato. I think only if you kept it on your cheeks and that's it and not bring it into your hairline, it's, it's gonna look totally fine because it looks pretty good on the cheeks. But then if you're bringing it on your forehead and really into your hairline, like look how bad that looks. Do, do you see the difference? Yeah. Wow, this is great look. Phenomenal start to this video. All right, let's do the next ridiculous makeup trend. Now that we look like a tomato. Yes. Overly soap brows trend. This is where you take any kind of product like this. This is by ABH. This is her Brow Freeze Brow Styling Wax. But you go ham on your brows with either a soap brow and then you just lift them up as much as you can and that's it. Like that's that's the look we're gonna go for. I think this trend has been going on for a while, but at least, you know, sometimes you clean it up, right? Can't hold back. They're making bushy. The bushier, the better. I try to make them as big as possible. See, this is where I would actually shape them. But this, there we go. Looks like I, I got stuck in like a wind tunnel. I actually really, really like this brow freeze because a little goes a long way. I am really overdoing it for this trend. I mean, look at that. That literally looks like I stuck, like, I don't know what happened there. Jackie said I got licked by a camel. Like, haven't you seen in a cartoon, like, doesn't Aladdin or somebody get licked by a camel? Like, I think it's Prince of Egypt. I do remember that scene. I am gonna fill it in because I feel like we need to, just a little bit. I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Brow Blade. I'm gonna make this even more intense. 
that's what they do? Yeah. You gotta do that. No, there's no way this is a trend. Mm -hmm. Unless, you know, Jasmine. <laughs> For your eyebrows. <laughs> Jazz brows. Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys. All right, I think we're done with the brows. Now let's move on to the eyeliner. It's called the reverse eyeliner. So the reverse eyeliner is where you take eyeliner only on your lower lash line and then you tight line the top lash line, but you really smoke it out and you flick it out on both sides. You really fo just focus on the lower lash line, but you do wanna apply a little bit of eyeshadow to the top. I'm just using Makeup a Mario. I'm going all over the lid. Like this look, I actually really, the reversed, the reverse eyeliner. I think it's really pretty. A lot of people do it really nice and it's not too dramatic. Instead of going with black, I'm gonna go with the brown eyeshadow eyeliner. This right here is by NARS in Mumbo. And I'm bringing it a lot lower than I usually would. Then I'm gonna take a little brush and start blending this out with with like a dark brown eyeshadow. Let's put on a little mascara before the lashes. Yeah, I feel like with this look, you have to have lashes on. Otherwise, it looks really, really weird. It's such a crazy difference. <laughs> Insane. This trend I actually can get behind especially if you do it to your eye shape. I like that it makes your under eye look so much bigger and like whiter and just very sultry. And I like that you really smoke out the lower lash line. I'm really, really liking this. I think this looks really fun, very sultry, very dramatic. So that's nice. All right, let's move on to the next, the next trend. Next trend is all about the ombre lips. So you need three lipsticks or three whatever, and you start first with the white, and you can kind of go whichever way you wanna do the ombre effect, but she basically does it white, a lighter shade, like a lighter pink, and then a dark pink, or a lighter red and a dark red. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna use a Danessa Myricks, her color fix in, I think it's just white, lift, in shade lift. I'm just gonna take some on the back of my hand. I'm gonna take a little lip brush. Then we take a lighter pink, just depends what kind of color way you're going with. And then you take a darker shade on this side. And all she did was literally just bounce her lips up and down to blend everything together. Mmm. Okay. Oh, mama, mama. <laughs> oh, mama, mama. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm blending it. What are you eating? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks so gross. <laughs> okay, this is what we look like. It looks, it actually blended it pretty well. I think between the pink, the white, and the red, I think it would look better if I did red on both sides and then did the white and the pink in the center to give it like that ombre look towards the center, lighter, and then darker in the outer corners, which I usually like. But for hers, I really wanted to see what it would turn out to follow her technique. White, lighter, or white, a lighter shade of your pink or red you're going for, and then the darkest shade on this side. And I think this right here is really, really pretty. And I think ombre lips are very stunning for all year round. I just prefer it the other way, darker to lighter in the center of your lips. That was fun though. That blending technique, just pout your lips and just smack them as much as you can to blend them out and then just fix it. But I'm not liking the lighter portion on the outer part of my lip. I think that looks wrong. It does not look good. <laughs> what do we think of this trend? Yeah, I think it would look better with the white in the middle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, last trend, faux freckles. There's actual products for your face to create freckles. Who here was blessed with freckles? Right here, right here, I was. I have natural freckles, but we're gonna try this one right here. It's by Freck, and this is their original freckle. How do you use this? Let's see. You lightly apply as a cluster of dots, dip in your brush often. That, that's it? You don't really need to... Oh, I guess you do, you just tap them out. Okay, cool. That looks intimidating. 
has a really red undertone. Interesting. I'm basically going to follow where my natural freckles are and just go for it. Tap, 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 tap. Okay, just said to dip often. And then just tap them out. I mean, that doesn't look bad. It looks, looks like freckles. Yeah, it actually looks pretty natural. I think I want a little bit more of my nose because that's where I have quite a bit of freckles. I think this trend is cute because if you don't have freckles on your face and you kind of want to see what it looks like with the freckles, I think this is cute. It doesn't look too overdone on my cheeks. Ooh, that's very tight. It's like that's not going anywhere. Wow, your freckles are there to stay. All right, we have the makeup ridiculous trends on my face. Ridiculous makeup trends on my face. I think all of them can be really ridiculous depending how heavy handed you are, but I think all of them, they can have a place in our makeup life. Like starting with the blush, like I said, keep it just on the cheekbones and not so heavy dark. And then going with the eyebrows, I like the feathery so brow look, but just really tamed and really shaped to your brow shape and then filling it in appropriately because they just disappeared. They're there, but they're disappearing. The next reverse eyeliner, I think this look is so stunning depending how you do it. If you wanna go super heavy or just a little more minimal, I think it's really pretty and it's a really cool different take on the cat eyeliner look. And then going with the lips, the ombre, again, loving it, but keeping it darker on the outer corners of your lips and then doing it nice and bright in the center. I think that is a gorgeous trend. And the last but not least, the freckles. I think it's a fun trend. It's not for everybody. And I think it's really cool, especially if you don't have freckles. I don't know what that's like, because I have natural freckles, but I think that's kind of fun. And this product is actually really cool. I love the way it blends out. It's not too intense, very easy to use. You can go heavy handed, but then you just blend it out and it looks great or just do it before your foundation if you want to go really heavy handed. But I think this is really cool if you wanted freckles, but you don't have them naturally. I think it's a cute makeup trend. But overall, I mean, there are so many ridiculous makeup trends out there, makeup hacks. I think you can make all of them work. I hope you guys had fun with me and tried out these ridiculous makeup trends. But for now, thank you for watching. I'll see you the next one very soon. Bye. And no, I'm not wearing this out there. <laughs>